Hello and welcome to the Movie Night Pajama Sew Along. My name is Trissa and I am your host. In this video we will be sewing up our side seams and hemming our sleeves in the bottom of our shirt. So go ahead and start off by grabbing your shirt um, and we will go from there. So we are going to start off by taking our shirt and flipping it right sides together. And then grab your pins. I like to start pinning at the bottom of the shirt, the end of the sleeve, and then where the sleeve attaches to the bodice. And then finish pinning the rest of the way. Once that's done, go ahead and pin the other side. Now with your side seams pin, go ahead and sew those up with a 3 8 of an inch seam allowance and then we'll come back. Now with our side seams sewn, we're going to get ready to hem the bottom of the sleeves and the bottom of the shirt. I like to keep my shirt inside out um, to get ready for the hemming. So you can either keep it like this or flip it right side out. Make sure you are double checking in the pattern instructions of what the hem allowance is for the pattern that you're doing. This is a children's version and I'm going to be using a 3 fourths of an inch hem allowance. So I'm going to start off by trimming off my thread. And go ahead and just, if you need to use um, a ruler, go ahead and do that. I like to eyeball it because I've hemmed a lot of things, but I'm just going to go ahead and Once both sleeves are hemmed, I like to double check to make sure they're both the same, they both have the same hem length. So I'll check in a few places. And that looks good, so I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing to the bottom band and clip the thread. Again, for the children's version, it is a three-fourths of an inch hem allowance. Make sure you're double checking in case it's different on the men's or the women's version. Once that's all done, um, you are welcome to get an iron and press it. I don't press my hems, um, but you definitely can. Another thing you can do is use Wonder Tape. Basically just sticks your um, hem to the fabric to help keep it in place. You can also use a glue stick. Um, it will Make sure you use a washable glue stick because it will wash off. It will help keep that hem in place. Um, yeah, so then I like to, again, like I said, I like to check it in a few places, make sure it's even. Okay. 
We are good. Now we're ready to hem those. Now with our shirt all hemmed, we are going to tie off the thread with a square knot. We do that by getting your thread. You want to take them in both hands. So we'll take the left over the right, under and through, and we'll take the right on top of the left, under and through. A square knot will ensure that it does not come apart. If you do, if you were to do the left over the right and then the left again over the right, it would create a granny knot or a double granny knot and that will not um, be secure. So go ahead and once you're done with that on all of them, clip all of your threads. Now your shirt is all done. To stay up to date on future videos, please subscribe to my channel. You can also view more on my blog at sewingandthings.com.